free food. What college student doesn't love that? Giving away food and other gifts has become the USC Athletics marketing team's way of increasing student turnout at non-revenue sporting events like tennis matches and baseball games. You walk over there, we give you this promotion that you just end up staying just because you know you've already made it there. Marketing sends out weekly emails with upcoming games and rankings. They have also expanded on their e-blast by adding signs at places like Tommy Trojan and the Finger Fountain, and students are noticing. At the top of campus, they have that big block thing now that shows when there are games. Like I've seen, there are like uh, times for basketball games on that. I'm like, oh, well, at least now I know when things are going on. That's nice. I appreciate that. While the new marketing strategies have been effective for some students, most people are still struggling to find out about the games. They blame poor promotion as the main reason they don't attend more events. There, I mean, if there was more posters and whatnot around the law school, for instance, which is where I am. Uh, you know, maybe I'd be more likely to go. I get the emails about the events, but other than that, I don't feel like there's a lot of promotion to get students involved um, with events besides just like emails. I honestly don't even know like where they play at the water polo games. According to box scores, attendance at baseball games has gone up by 10% since last season, and tennis has seen similar increases. On days with free hot dogs giving out at baseball, the average attendance is nearly 190 people more than normal. Though there is no precise number set as a goal, Anya Panuka says her team can feel when it's the right amount. You can feel when there are enough students there that can sort of change the momentum of a game. If the promotions don't draw fans, maybe results will. Both women's and men's tennis, baseball, and women's water polo are ranked in the nation's top 10. Connor McGlynn, ATVN.